Hi there, this is Bob Capetta from Florida Southwestern State College and from the Math Intensive Committee at AMATIC. And I'm gonna talk about some study strategies for collegiate mathematics. So the first question I wanna ask is, what do you think that studying mathematics is like? What would you compare it to? And I have some ideas. I think it's like athletics. I think it's like music. And I think it's like learning world languages. Now, why is that? To get peak performance, you need consistent, almost daily practice. An elite athlete is going to engage in cardio and strength training together with training sessions with a team and with the coaches. Same goes with music. Yes, indeed, consistent practice almost daily. Same with learning languages. If you want to have expertise, you need to practice consistently. And I think mathematics is the same sort of thing. The goal in learning a language is to be able to communicate. And the same thing is true in math. It's not about memorizing. It's about developing understanding in that language. And one of the tools we use these days is computer-based math homework, which can be a great tool, but you've gotta be careful. You've gotta be careful. The advantages is it helps students understand where they have difficulties and the computer-based math homework system can give you some hints, but you don't wanna become over-reliant on that. So I've got some advice there. Some students think it's a video game, that the goal is to get the highest score possible. But really your goal is to learn and to understand, not to score points. So there really are different perspectives you can have with this. Other students rely too much on the hints show a similar problem, give a hint. At some point, you've got to take off the training wheels and try to do it on your own. So better do the problem and then check to see if it's right. That I think is a better use of it. And really what I think you need to do is you need to write all of your work in a well-organized notebook. Take the computer-based homework as seriously as you would written homework that would be expected to be turned in. And then recognize you're really writing that for your future self as you're studying for the unit exam or the final exam. As you refer to your notes, you want to know what you did and why you did it. Unorganized notes will not be useful. So just take the computer based homework seriously. But back to the written homework, you know, when you think about written homework, which you've probably been doing for many, many years, what comes to mind? Some students really don't like it. They feel it's boring. They feel it's tedious. They get frustrated when they can't do it. And this is gonna sound strange, but I'm gonna encourage you to try to find some way to enjoy doing it. But be careful. There are tools out there like these that'll give you complete worked out solutions. That can be a useful technique if you've worked out the problem, you wanna find out if you're successful, but don't use these tools to replace your efforts. That's not gonna prepare you for an exam. So be careful with these tools. My advice is collaborate. If you have a chance to work on problems together, you may have difficulty that another student may understand. And another student may ask you questions that will help you deepen your own knowledge. So you can make remarkable progress in study groups. So if at all possible, find ways to collaborate while you're working on your written homework. And one of the biggest things we have to do is prepare for a math exam. So what do many people do, right? The all-nighter, wait until the day before the exam to start studying. You're not gonna perform well if you're sleep deprived and research shows that's just not effective. Other students, unfortunately, think they can just read their books or their notebooks to prepare for an exam. That doesn't work either. My advice is get a separate sheet of paper, cover over your notebook and try the problem again. If you do it correctly, you're prepared. If not, you need to go back and study. And again, how do you study for an exam collaboratively? Eight, four people here. Let's say each person writes two or three possible problems for the exam and then you try to solve them. So think the way the teacher would think which problems are most important and then try to solve them. If you can, then you're probably well prepared and you challenge each other to do your best work. So let's just go ahead and finish up with some suggestions here. Try to enjoy studying mathematics. I know many people have bad experiences in the past, but if you wanna be an elite athlete, an expert musician, a person proficient in a second language, you need to enjoy the process. You need to enjoy preparation. So make an effort to get in that direction. Focus on understanding concepts, concepts rather than memorizing procedures. Think about why rather than how. Make an effort to see how all these different notions are related and connected because that'll stay with you. 
just memorizing for the sake of memorizing, it's going to go away. Just like learning a foreign language is not about memorizing words. There's so much more to it than that. You need to think in that language. You need to try to think in mathematics. Set up a weekly schedule that lists your times for studying. So this student has 10 a.m. Monday and Tuesday is going to be homework time. My suggestion is make a schedule with six or eight hours during the week that every week you're going to study mathematics at the same time. Build that into your time frame. Do your computer-based homework in a well-organized notebook and do not use those hints any more than you have to. Make sure you are working independently. As I've said multiple times, collaborate with your classmates, learn from each other. And finally, seek assistance from the instructor and tutors. Instructors have office hours, use them right away before you have trouble. Many schools have tutoring centers. So yes, collegiate mathematics is challenging. There's no doubt about it. Studying is key. So make some good decisions, be a good studier, and there's a chance you'll be a successful student. Be well.